We are heartbroken to report the untimely passing of Pastor Roger Spradin, founding member of Valley Baptist Church. Pastor Roger Spradin was diagnosed with cancer in 2022. His family and a lot more that loved him came out and asked for prayers, but it's unfortunate this happened. This is Pastor Phil, and I've got a special email video update for the entire congregation. Uh, a few weeks ago, Pastor Roger was not feeling well, and uh, he went to the doctor. They did some scans, and then this week, he went over to Santa Barbara to get the results of those scans, and after a long process beginning on Tuesday, we found out late yesterday afternoon that Pastor Roger is being diagnosed with cancer. Uh, the doctors are calling this bile duct cancer. Uh, at this point, our family is having conversations about, you know, the next step and the exact timing uh, about everything. Uh, it's all in the Lord's hands. It really is. And uh, that's where we put it. Uh, we put it, uh, this situation, into his hands about a year ago now, and we've left it there. And it continues to remain there. Now, we don't know. We're preparing ourselves for, uh, you know, saying goodbye. Uh, but we also know that the Lord's in control, and we'll continue to pray. And I, so I invite you to continue to pray. Uh, pray for his comfort. He's been dealing with a great deal of, of suffering. Uh, pray for our family, uh, that we would be comforted by uh, the great comforter, the Holy Spirit. And uh, pray for our church as we grieve together uh, this situation. It's all in the Lord's hands. Uh, but we wanted to update you. And I want to ask you to keep, keep praying for a long time. Uh, I've been praying and many others have been praying that uh, you know God would be glorified through this whole horrific situation. That God would be glorified. And we've been asking that God would do a miracle so that he would receive all of the glory. And it's with a heavy heart that I share uh, that news uh, with you, my family, our family, our church family. I know that you love my dad, who served as uh, co-senior pastor here for over 38 years. Uh, you love him dearly. You love our family. Uh, pray for us as we process this and take the, the coming steps uh, in the days and weeks and, and months to come. And so uh, uh, thank you so much for your prayers for him, for my mom, uh, for our entire family. Uh, pray for us as we move forward. Pray for our church. God has his hand upon us in a special way. Uh, very good spirits because the Lord is with them. They know that. Uh, we all know that. But it's still hard. It's still hard. So long story short, they have advised that hospice is, is probably um, the, the right move here at this point. Um, his, the, the cancer hasn't grown and spread, but his liver is failing. Uh, and so he, he has a, a felt liver that's causing so many different other problems uh, uh, digestion wise fluid in the in the stomach fluid in the lung um, his mind is not quite sharp like it like it normally is uh, all the toxins the the, the build up and so uh, at this point our family is having conversations about you know the next step and the exact timing uh, about everything uh, it's all in the Lord's hands. It really is. And uh, that's where we put it. Uh, we put it, uh, this situation, into his hands about a year ago now. And we've left it there. And it continues to remain there. Now, we don't know. We're preparing ourselves for, uh, you know, saying goodbye. Uh, but we also know that the Lord's in control. And we'll continue to pray. And I, so I invite you to continue to pray. Uh, pray for his comfort. He's been dealing with a great deal of, of suffering. Uh, pray for our family, uh, that we would be comforted by uh, the great comforter, the Holy Spirit. And uh, pray for our church as we grieve together uh, this situation. Uh, they said one to two months, uh, and so processing that time frame as well. And so we just don't know how long it would be. It's all in the Lord's hands. Uh, but we wanted to update you, and I want to ask you to keep, keep praying for a long time. Uh, I've been praying, and many others have been praying, that uh, you know God would be glorified through this whole horrific situation, that God would be glorified. And we've been asking that God would do a miracle so that he would receive all of the glory. And so at this point, we've come to the end of what uh, they can do medically. Uh, 
And so if God were to extend us some life some, I think he would receive a great deal of glory. So I don't think we should stop praying. I don't think we should stop seeking and knocking and asking. Uh, but as we do so, we ask according to the Lord's will. And so we seek him uh, in that. And so uh, it's with a heavy heart that I share uh, that news uh, with you, my family, our family, our church family. I know that you love my dad, who served as a co-senior pastor here for over 38 years. Uh, you love him dearly. You love our family. Uh, pray for us as we process this and take the, the coming steps uh, in the days and weeks and, and months to come. And so um, really that, that's it. I don't know what else I really need to be sharing at this point, but I know many knew that he would be receiving results today and uh, have reached out um, because you're curious. You, you love him and, and you care for us and you're wanting an update. And so I thought it would be best to, to give you an update today so you know how to be praying and uh, and that we can move forward. So uh, thank you so much for your prayers for him, for my mom, uh, for our entire family. Uh, pray for us as we move forward. Pray for our church. God has his hand upon us in a special way. Uh, my dad and my mom and talking with them and the doctor kind of over the phone uh, earlier today, uh, I sense they're in, in good spirits, uh, very good spirits, because the Lord is with them. They know that. Uh, we all know that, but it's still hard. It's still hard. So I love you, church family. Uh, please keep us in your prayers. God bless you. See you soon. Pastor Roger Spradin has inspired a lot of lives, and his contribution towards the church shall never be forgotten. Roger Spradin is son and co-senior pastor. Andrew Spradin came out and shared the sad news of his father and talked a lot about his last days and asked for prayers from each and everyone that cared. It is a very sad moment and we send out our sincere condolences to the family and all the people of the church and call upon each and everyone to pray for them. Let us know what you learned from Pastor Roger Spradin and Please remember to keep your comments respectful. You are watching Touch News Media and subscribe and turn on your bell so that you don't miss out on any videos that we upload. Pastor Roger Spradin has served the church and specifically Valley Baptist Church for numerous years and his gospel has transformed a lot of lives. He will be greatly missed by the church and the people across the world. And May his soul rest in eternity.